my friends how are you today so i've got the gun built for the mini art store so i'll show you that Hold on, i'll just grab it it's very delicate i just built it very fiddly it's very very fiddly it was it was getting me a bit stressed a little bit stressed you know when you're sort of like a bit frustrated but i got there but it's very difficult to build and um yeah it's just a million tiny little parts let's try to show you this side Grab it. yeah it's just it's craziness but we got there so it's all good it doesn't move or anything you can make it movable but those joining parts there so where the uh they're, they're all bowed and bent and stuff, so to get them down, the, yeah, it was, it was crazy. So the glue sort of went a bit everywhere and it stuck it in place, but that's all right. We're in a pretty standard position. And we also got some of the interior parts primed and ready to go for installation. So just getting that all prepped up, the interior there. So what I did with that is I just um, primed it with German red brown, like an acrylic lacquer, and then I made up a washable, just normal water-based paint with this stuff here, AK. So you just add 10% of this to your acrylic paint, and um, it it goes washable. So what that means is you just paint it on, and um, then I just get a uh, paintbrush like this one just a flat one and some warm water so you get your warm water and you can see it's it's gone a bit greenish there um, you start washing it down with the water and um, after a while a little while you'll see it start to bubble up a bit and you can keep washing away and that's really smoothing it down and giving you this really nice smooth finish but um, then once you've got it all nice and bubbled up and that you can come along with a just a uh, you know a, a pick of some kind of wooden pick uh, i think that's a kebab stick or something and um you can just start actually scratching it up and, and creating scratch marks and all that kind of stuff it's pretty good stuff it's better than the um hair spray method um the hair spray method is a bit uh, chaotic and stuff uh this one yeah, you, you get a bit more control, I suppose, with that. So, it's a pretty good method. So, that's how we're going. We'll get this a little bit primed up. So, we'll give it a little bit of paint and we'll start painting it up. I might do that now, but it is still a bit delicate. So, I might just leave it for a bit. Um, and then we can start working on some other details. I also put the fenders on, so... Um, you can see we've gone with the front parts up, which is a different thing. With my other one, at the, f the front parts of the fender are down. And there's heaps of spare parts in here so I can fix up the other one. So the other one we're going to be working on together with it. So we'll display these two together. I'm going to make a base for them both that they can both sit on. We're going to repaint this one and fix it up so there's spare uh, doors and and all this kind of stuff in there there's spare um, lights so we'll be able to put some all extra parts on this and fix this one up as well to go with it all right guys i'll speak to you again soon